right now is uh, another Cowboy Fest Action Holster different than the other video that I made. And I wanted to show you this one because she came out really nice and there's a couple little odds and ends I didn't talk about in another video that I made, the first video I made. So we're going to talk about this one here. Now, when you get a Cowboy Fest Action Holster, it's going to be lined with rawhide. That's what you're hearing. This click, 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 click. Very, very tough. This rig is lined with rawhide all the way around uh, in the holster. And I'll show you more about that in a minute. The main features of a Cowboy Fest Action Holster is that one, it's an over the belt type, which is required by the rules. Two, there are measurements in the handbook for which this one meets those requirements from here up to the top of the fold and from the cut down from where the hammer cuts in to the frame right there and down to this bottom groove. If you look in your um, manual you will see from Cowboy Faster Action all the various requirements that you have to meet. And this holster meets those requirements. This one has a standard buckle on it rather than a concho buckle. Okay. And on the back of the holster, which I'm going to show you again later, I can take it off. I want to show you something that's a little hard to see when it's on here now. But this one is comes apart because all you have to do is unbuckle this and undo this knot back here. Okay, and this this uh, holster will come apart if you want to take it you know, out and unflap it so you can clean behind it if for some reason it ever gets mud all over it. Most of the time that's not necessary. All right. Here is your hammer thong which will keep your gun in the holster because if you get upside down with this holster gun will fall out. I will demonstrate that to you when I take the holster off the belt. All right. This is two thicknesses of leather with a third on the back of, of, of it right here that is suede. Okay. There are, in this case, 15 bullet loops on the back of it. That's what the customer wanted. Okay. And they are laced in. Okay. And they're riveted at either end. And this is one continuous piece of leather this strap coming through punch outs in the front surface. Here is the buckle end right here sewn on with a one and a half inch nickel clip cornered buckle and there is the back loop because this is a Ranger belt closure. Okay. This guy, let me flip her over, comes together just like that. This will go through here. This will go through the buckle. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mark this right here. There will be seven holes on your gun belt buckle or gun, gun belt to go for your buckle. And generally speaking, when I size it, I'm going to ask you for a photograph of you holding a tape around you so that this hole of seven will be the measurement that you'll get on your gun belt. This buckle can be changed out, but you have to think about the fact that if you're going to put any kind of a larger belt buckle on here, it's going to increase the length of your belt. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this holster off of this belt. It will slide right on off, just like that. I want to show you some other features about this holster, because this is the heart of the system. The gun belt is a basic gun belt regardless of any kind of holster that's over the belt on it. Now you can see it has a rolled out throat right there. Okay, the cut down in the front. Let me get the light on it just so. Okay, is for your fast draw. Okay, here is your latigo lacing coming on top of the hammer, this is a separate piece that is looped on here. 
Right? Then you have this tie off right here. Goes through a single hole on the bottom or the back, just like that. There's the back of the holster strap coming through. Everything I make custom will have your initials on it. There's, in this case, JL. It's also on the belt on the buckle end of it. Let me get that for you to show you how it matches. Okay. And this is a recent order. So there's the JL and my maker mark, bobsleatherworks.com, made in the USA. And then here it is again on the bottom of the holster in the back. The bullet loop or the bullet deflector for the wax bullets is is part of the front part of the holster right there just like that. So it comes around this entire holster with the exception of from about here down is lined with rawhide. Okay, right back actually from here right down is lined with rawhide. Rawhide starts if you can see it, let me get a little closer. Right there. There it is right there. And the rawhide's tapered on both sides and it blends down into just the two layers of leather back here. But the rawhide starts right here, comes all the way around, okay, on the, on the fold over, into the gun, and then there's a couple of layers of regular leather in here to thicken things up and create the open space. And when this is dry, it's hard. And that's what allows this gun to be, when I form the holster with the gun, okay, you can cock your gun in the holster, just like that. You see the cylinder spinning around. One more time, a little better, right there, just like that. And when and there's no real play, it's not wiggling around, it's not super loose. But when you turn this holster upside down, gun will fall out. That is called zero retention when you get it from me, just like that. This is a four and five eighths Uberti Peacemaker clone real gun, not an aluminum dummy. So, again, zero retention, cowboy fast draw action holster, turn it upside down, gun falls out. That's what you want when you're in competition. Okay, Very thick. This combination of two layers of leather and the rawhide make for one very thick holster. Little more than a quarter of an inch, it's more like around um, 3 16th inch thick. Now you can see up against the background a piece of cloth I have across my lap, muslin, right in here. See if I can get my finger in the right spot. But right in here, there's a ledge, okay, with an extra piece on it right in the front there. And that's what the belt is riding on. You can see back in here, hard, I'm looking at the TV to try to catch it just perfectly so you can see it on video. Right there, there's a ledge in there. Let's try it from this point of view here and see what we get. Okay, there we go. See that little block in there? Yeah, let's see if I can figure out something to point with. Here we go, let's get a scissor up right in there. Right in there is a piece of leather, and the extended part of it up in here, okay, is a little ledge. There you go. And the belt rides through that groove and keeps your holster from riding up when you pull up on your gun, but you have no resistance from your gun. So this is a positive way to keep the holster in place on you. There's the top view. Now, these are the stabilization wings that keep this holster from twisting on the belt from back and forth. If you've ever looked very closely at the movie Good, Bad, and the Ugly, when um, Angel Eyes hands his rig, the rig back 
to Eastwood, you will see the back of the holster has these wings on it. Okay, that's where they came from, just like that. And and with the combination of the tie down and the belt running through here, this holster will not ride up when you put it on. Now, what I'm going to do while the camera's still running is I'm going to put the hammer thong back on the, on the gun just like that and we pull down on it okay. and you can tuck it if you want to when you're using it when you're walking around and you're not shooting okay but that's going to hold your gun in there and prevent it from falling out because there is zero retention on this holster now let's put the belt back in it again. Okay. Here comes the belt. Alright. Alright, let's do this while hopefully you're watching. Okay. Alright. Belt goes right in there. Okay. Rides right through. It's going to engage the slot. Just like that. Okay. And this distance, generally speaking, if you're an average sized person, okay, you're going to have a distance from right in the center of the holster back to your center hole on your billet, belt billet right here, will be about 12 inches. Let me back up and see if I can get it all in the shot. There it is, right there. Okay. This is a Ranger overlap. Uh, belt buckle, uh, belt system, meaning that this part right there will go right through there, just like that, and buckle up. But I'm not going to buckle it because I don't want to make any marks on this portion of the belt. It's lined with suede. And the current price right now on this rig is $375 with $20 for shipping for a round total of $400 without tax. If you're not in North Carolina, you're not going to be charged any tax. So again, you can have this rig for $400 if you live in any state but North Carolina, which is where I reside in Raleigh, North Carolina. So there it is. Cowboy Festra Action Rig okay. meets all requirements for CFDA okay. and it too can be yours. So with thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have all of my information on the end of the video. Tell you how to order it from me, how to call me. And we'll talk about some details like color. If you want some other type of a uh, Concho on here rather than the standard buckle. Color, number of bullet loops. You're going to have six standard. One, two, three, four, five, six. They'll be right there, which you can put your snap caps in. All right. If not, you can have more going all the way around the back. Two and a half inch wide belt. Okay. There it is. Alright, so thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.